Hi everybody, Paul back here and delighted to be so with some terrific late 80s, early 90s awesomeness, creature feature, monster flick goodness, killer crocodile style. But not just one, it's a case of Crocker Doodle 2. Yup, both Killer Crocodile 1 and Killer Crocodile 2 from Fabrizio De Angelis, 1989. 1990 from the wonderful people with 88 films and they have done us proud with this one two disc blu-ray release sets there we go one and two in this really very very cool hard card boxed set edition there we are absolutely lovely well worth the price of admission for this set absolutely delighted with this fantastic stuff very nice evidence quality and when you've got it in hand you will not be disappointed two of the great Italian action horror thriller monster madness cycle from back in the good days of the effectively the 80s but this is just fantastic to have released in high definition really just does come out triumphantly well absolutely thrilled with this I mean look at that artwork uh, it just it just has to be snapped up doesn't it absolutely fantastic really really very very pleased with this indeed let's just have a look at it all set out together because oh, it's just so very very good and it's a fair price uh, pick this up for uh, well under £25, got it on pre-order and they're just they're just movies that you can just relax with have a good time with, sure they're not going to be 10 out of 10 movies but they're good solid entertainers and you've got some really decent people involved, not only have you got Fabrizio De Angelis, of course well known producer for so many quality films, lots of the Lucio Fulci movies, movies in his own right. I mean, there's just so very many. I mean, Fabrizio De Angelis, he directs the first film and he's got the quality services of effects uh, makeup man Gianetto De Rossi. And Gianetto De Rossi, he then directs Crocodile, Killer Crocodile number two. Pretty much the movies were made back to back. Uh, Fabrizio De Angelis, he was directing as Larry Ludman and he was the producer of both these films as well but 1989 and interestingly enough as well the assistant director of number one is Stefania Girolami who is of course the daughter of Enzo G. Castellari. Let's just have a look on the back here as well. Let's get some really taking in the goodness of this. I mean there's no Lacking of attention to detail as far as putting in you know, the information regarding both films and also some nice little pictures pertaining to the contents of the film as well. I mean, it's just all round goodness. And also looking inside, <coughs> you get double artwork as well. Again, really very much appreciated. So interior backing artwork there, but that, that comes out. Turn it around, whatever your preference is. So you've got the choice of either cover A or cover B. And quality can be had from both, without question. Absolutely loving this. Now the star of both the movies is Richard Kreener. But not the Richard Kreener that you would expect. Not This is actually the son of Rambo. <laughs> Colonel Troutman, this is not. This is actually Richard Anthony Kreener. And I do believe on the front of the cover there, I think he's actually credited, yeah, there we go, he's actually credited as Anthony Kreener uh, to probably allay any of the confusion because I'm sure that a lot of people, maybe even to this day, uh, suspect that Richard Kreener from the Rambo films, Colonel Troutman himself, <coughs> is actually the star, but it's not, he's actually his son. And he plays a character of Kevin in both the films so a bit of a spoiler there he clearly survives the first one doesn't get eaten by the crocodile but uh, certainly as far as the character of Kevin 
Richard Anthony Crean is concerned. All he wants is for this crocodile not to kill him as much as he wants to kill it. Adrian! There's your little Rambo intro. <laughs> the connection. But uh, he's good in these. He really is. Uh, he may not be known to everybody, but uh, if you pick up these films and you look at his face, I'm sure you'll notice a resemblance to Colonel Troutman himself. And uh, Richard Anthony Creener. Let's call him Anthony Creener. Anthony Creener here. He He's actually... If you look back, uh, you'll notice that he, he appears in films like uh, The Blob Remake from 1988. And he's also played the, a part of a paramedic in Predator 2. But uh, let's just have a, a snappy little look uh, around the sequel here. Uh, because equally, the, the, both of these films are just so enjoyable. And they're pretty much made back to back. As I say, 1989 for the first one, 1990 for the second one. Uh, Fabrizio doing the first one, uh, it may well be that uh, Gianetto De Rossi was considered to direct both because Fabrizio tended to do more on the production side of uh, the movies and, as I say, very prolific with the production. Um, did some really cool films, lots of the action films back in the day and uh, just so very, very good, as I, as I mentioned. But uh, in 1989, Gianetto De Rossi was cutting his teeth directorial-wise uh, with a movie called Psy Warrior, which is another crazy piece of sci-fi action Terminator-style uh, rip-off. Uh, and that one starred Frank Zagarino and Henry Silver. Can't go wrong with Henry Silver and Frank Zagarino. Made a ton of good stuff. He worked as well alongside uh, Enzo G. Castellari back in the day. And uh, with both of these Killer Crocodile movies, uh, the music composer is Cannibal Holocaust famous soundtrack guy Riz Ortolani. So, you know, you're working with some quality people here as well. And also speaking, of course, of director here for number two, uh, Giannetto De Rossi. He was, of course, the terrific special effects makeup guy for zombie flesh eaters for... Lucio Fulci. And what maybe a lot of people aren't aware, he also worked before that, before doing Zombie Flesh Eaters, and probably a big reason why Fulci wanted him on board for that. He worked back in 1974 on the very, very, very good, almost as good as Flesh Eaters, Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue. So... Gianetto De Rossi, we have got to thank for both those classic zombie films, which in my opinion has always been there, right up there with Dawn of the Dead. But uh, let's again just have a look around this one, Killer Crocodile, number two. Just tells you about it, and you've got the pictures there as well. And again, let's have a look inside at that wonderful alternative artwork. If you want to turn that uh, around, have that as your front-facing slipcover. You've got the choice to do so. And uh, they've done a terrific job. I mean, they really have literally pushed the boat out for this. I mean, you don't mind spending 20 to £25 pound on two movies with this type of attention to detail delivered. You're getting your value for money. Certainly in my book you are. I mean, please obviously do share your thoughts and let me know if you're, you're picking this set up. Or if you, you've seen the films before, what your thoughts are? Just all round, really. And, you know, putting it next to that uh, boxed hard card set, uh, box protective cover there. I mean, you, you really just cannot go wrong at all. Absolutely fantastic stuff. It, it really, truly is. And the connectivity between all the players in this and people involved. I mean, Gianetto De Rossi not only, as I say, worked on the effects for both the films and directed the second killer crocodile as well. But uh, with a connection with um, Anthony Crina, <clears throat> um, Gianetto De Rossi actually then later got to work with his father as well, ironically, on Rambo 3. So, you know, it's just, it's word of mouth, it would seem, <clears throat> excuse me, that back then, particularly, people did a good job. They got mentioned and they got recommended and that's the way that it should be, you know, proper 
filmmaking. Okay, they haven't got the biggest budgets, but they deliver. They make these films as a piece of entertainment and uh, not just making the profits for the, the high-flying producers and money men. They are actually putting their true art on film for the entertainment of the fans. That's the way that it should always be. Absolutely fantastic. And the great thing I'm pleased to say about uh, Giannetto De Rossi <clears throat> is he's still alive and well and very active as well. He recently, or well, he's probably, I'm sure he's working on stuff at the moment, back, back in 2017. I think there's a film still playing, uh, this film still plays on Netflix at the moment. But uh, he did the uh, effects, makeup, design work uh, on the film. Uh, oh, just slipped out of my mind for the moment. It's a film called What Happened to Monday. Apologies for that. That one was directed by Tommy Vercola. Of course, worked on uh, as director for both of those very cool, literally very cool, Dead Snow films. So lots of fantastic connectivity. And uh, one thing I definitely want to do as well, while we're talking about Giannetto De Rossi, he also did the effects work on one of my favourite, absolute favourite Italian films, going back to 1983, Atlantis Interceptors. Look at the artwork on that. I've shown this one before. But 88 films... If anybody from your great company should be watching this, this is the film that I would love most of all to be released by you guys, uncut in all its gory glory, with that cover artwork, and uh, to place it on Blu-ray, as I say, uncut, that would be absolutely fantastic. Just groovy groovy stuff it really is so super cool this one of course directed by Ruggiero Diodato but as I say you get the effects work which is very very good very futuristic post-apocalyptic style of film uh, by Giannetto de Rossi <coughs> absolutely brilliant brilliant stuff indeed so there we are there we all the goodness of killer crocodile but it doesn't stop there, folks. Absolutely not. Let's just slide these two very quickly back into the casing. And uh, I have some extra editions of Killer Crocodile 1 and 2 that uh, I would also like to share with you. Uh, so I'm not doing a very good job of that, but uh, there we are. let's just place them in there for now. And let's look at earlier <coughs> editions of both Killer Crocodile 1 and 2, which again, I just love the artwork for. And they are the hard box releases from some years back. But again, look at the quality of the cover artwork designed for that. At Absolutely fantastic by a company in Germany, I believe, called X Rated. <coughs> and these are just awesome. Now, these are DVD editions, but there's no way that I'm letting these leave my collection. They're staying put along with these wonderful Blu ray releases, editions of the films. But I mean, just look at that. I mean, what's the arm in that? Absolutely fantastic. Gory goodness <coughs> absolutely fantastic stuff indeed uh, you get pretty much bare bones inside but that's okay because the goodness is on the outside it's very difficult to open these up but there we go you got the DVD inside there uh, but very very cool very very super sci-fi horror <coughs> sexy dare I say and uh, there we go Killer Crocodile number two just to uh, set the set off uh, Die Morda Beastie and, uh, just, and again there as you'll notice they quite properly I think have put uh, Anthony 
Kreena there, rather than confusing things by having Richard Kreena or Richard Anthony Kreena. But uh, there we go, Killer Crocodile 2, and the gory goodness that is the picture there as well. And there we are. I mean, literally, if you're going to do a Jaws ripoff, there are the Jaws of Death. Absolutely super cool stuff <coughs> indeed so there we are uh, as I say please do share your thoughts on this let me know if you're going to get them if you've got the films what your thoughts are and just on the Italian cycle of you know 70s 80s 90s gloriousness and the people like Fabrizio De Angelis so many of his films still could be picked up and released on blu-ray and uh, they would be just absolutely fantastic to watch, view, collect and just enjoy. But here we have a release from Airtake Films, the very welcome two individually released in a set here, boxed hard card set of Killer Crocodile 1 and 2. Fabulous, fabulous stuff. Thanks very much for watching, really always appreciate it. Uh, take care, everybody. See you all soon. Bye for now.